I spoke with a friend. We were talking about how it's sometimes it's really difficult for you to just study by yourself or something. In December 2017, I, I remember that the same friend who is now my co-founder for ASS Lagos, he called me and it was like, there's this thing called AI Saturdays and uh, it looks like it's a, it's a study group and we can we can be ambassadors and we can have other people who are interested in learning. So it's not just the three of us trying to learn, it's now um, the three of us pr plus some other people. And I was very excited about this. I was like, hey, finally. That was where we started from. That was last year. And then fast forward seven months, we had another hackathon. Everyone except one team broke the, the, the benchmark. In January, we kick-started the first cohorts, just myself and Femi then. And uh, we had a good turnout. The first week, we had more than 60 people show up. It was much more than we expected. Okay. Like, you know, well, let me just show, let me see what these guys are doing. Then I showed up for the class and Oh, damn, behold. <laughs> the class was quite interesting. Like, we did fast AI, we did um, CS 231N, which is like the computer vision class course from Stanford University. The beautiful thing about the first class was just that I discovered that there's AI community in Nigeria. And I just felt like it's a wonderful community, coupled with the kind of people we have in AI Saturday. I think that's like the most important thing. I believe the human resources is fundamental when you have good people, when you're working with quality people, you can do anything. I got into tech through my sister. My sister is a software developer. So she encouraged me for a very long time to join. I didn't, I was not interested. So I think after a while, I, she, I started taking Python courses online and it was quite interesting for me. But what made me like really interested in it was AI Saturday. I came for AI Saturday last year, January, and it was very nice. Um, Our tutor was very, very passionate about it. I think that this is a better model than classroom knowledge. And I assume because people that are teaching here are young people also. So they know how to pass the message across. There's no tutor student um, fear. So you can ask questions if you want to. So AI system is more like an informal way. Of course, we are not, we can't, we, it's not a school. We are just like specializing in one niche. We're trying to see how we can build a community that when it comes to being competitive, you're like, our student is able to provide the, like, the same amount of knowledge, if not more as a student who are uh, trained outside the country or something because really the, the things you need to learn to become a machine learning engineer most of them are available online do you understand so there's nothing stopping you from being great so for instance at this meetup we learn from stanford university lecturers from Carnegie Mellon university lecturers from a very wide range of experts in the industry so if they keep coming to these communities they are learning from the best um, lecturers in the world and then they're able to collaborate with others right to keep that um that zeal alive right you see that people get smarter i have a background in computer sciences i'm currently a student of the university of lagos i'm in my fifth year and i picked interest in artificial intelligence because um, I think I was going through YouTube one day and I saw some cool stuff that I from Stanford University did and I said, okay, maybe I can do that. And suddenly, a week after, um, Artificial Intelligence Saturday's meetup popped up. Being here so far, I think, has been enlightening because if I was in my sitting room learning it all alone, I would not have had to rub minds with people that I like. And I specifically like our tutors because they are very different. Okay, there are videos I've watched where the tutors don't even grab what they are saying properly, or when they grab it, they grab it too much and they don't know how to break it down to my level as a beginner. But here, yeah, I I've seen that even during the code sessions and during just the theoretical parts, the tutors are able to come down to my level and interact with me properly. 
while I was in school, there's some stuff I actually find difficult. And they could have been easier, they could have been made easier if the medium in which the knowledge is being passed was pro properly delivered. The reason I have to like take this class is because it makes me a better person. Sometimes I spend time going to look, I will have to like look for the best resources. And this is how I be, this is how I see it. Like for me to explain this stuff to you, I have to know this stuff. Like I want to explain to you as if I'm talking to my nephew. Like if my nephew can understand that, you should be able to understand it. I've been learning data science on my own machine learning, but oftentimes I found out that um, uh, because I was learning online, I didn't have um, feedbacks, a feedback system where I could, the mistakes I made or things I didn't understand, where I could ask questions. So um, AI Saturday offered me um, such an opportunity with our wonderful tutors, Tedru and Kelechi. Um, whenever I read, what I don't understand, I easily bring it to them and they'll break it down at the lowest of levels whereby they can associate with it. The passion for knowledge is, it cannot be rivaled anywhere. People are interested, they want to learn and learn more. There's a positive influence from like every man here. If I want to, if I do this, then if, if my friend can do this, I can also do better. So everybody is inspiring every other person to do better. And because we have a community, even if I do not want to learn, once there's another person to inspire me, it's enough for me to want to do more to want to do more, to want to learn more. If I learn something and I know it, like I can explain it to you, and something you would have, you know, spent maybe a month trying to figure out, I can just, you know, um, explain it to you in, in less than an hour and you get that knowledge. Like as a community, like everybody move together in the same direction and we carry everybody along. I remember my first uh, Saturday class, like even going, it was like I was shooting my shot at something and I'm like, like what's the worst case? I won't go back again. And I went there that day and trust me, I didn't, I didn't understand anything. But I just sat in the class and was just nodding, very quiet. And I kept on going, I kept on attending and things became clearer. And then I decided, okay, okay maybe this is what I want to do. Because, I mean, it's so beautiful. Then I started thinking about problems I could solve, even when I didn't know how to solve them. If you want to go into AI, it's not a big deal, to be honest with you. Anyone can do it, but it's just that you have to do the work. The math might be difficult, but you have to go through that. The programming might be difficult, you still have to go through it. I think the most important thing is consistency, and showing up is very important. So what were your initial challenges? Uh, uh, everything. It was just very confusing. I didn't, I didn't believe I could wrap my head around it. It was very... My first class, I was overwhelmed. I think overwhelmed is, is the only word I can describe how I felt. I, I knew I was interested in it, so it seemed like something I could not do, so that was enough to spark my interest. But I would not say I have a particularly strong background in mathematics, so I had to go back to the beginning, I had to learn concepts like from the beginning, I had to I just had to read more, like do more. And I think that's part of the reasons why I'm really in, as interested as I am in AI now, because I find it very challenging. And I think there's something about humans and how we like things that challenge us and um, make us do more. And that first day, I'll not forget Tola. She said, even if you don't understand, guys, still come. Because while in the class, like, I was like, man, this thing is hard. But when she said that, I just realized that, okay, she was part of last cohort. For her saying is that, okay, she understands stuff like that. So I just said, okay, that's how I started coming. So when I started AI Saturdays, I was like, this is foreign, <laughs> the mathematics, everything. And I don't have a very strong mathematics background. So it's, I would say it's somehow difficult for me in the journey of AI, but it's fascinating because when I see my teacher, my Mrs. Teju, I would say for now she's my role model because I see her at her age and what she is able to accomplish. And, and I see myself at times, I feel like I'm backward, like what am I even doing? But I know with time, it's just time. So when I came for here Saturday, I met a friend of mine, he's my seat partner. So he was the one that put me to and he told me, AI is not difficult, you just have to like okay, put a determination into it. For me, the challenge was like understanding a lot of math stuff. 
and to understand stuff, to understand concepts, like the foundations of machine learning, like you need this math background. One of, one of our vision is actually to, to see whether this, the idea of a community study group can, can really compete with uh, existing education systems and all that. So motivation, how people get motivated or stay motivated is a key issue for us. So our goal in the community is to actually, one, try to ensure that people who don't normally have the motivation, we kind of try to motivate them. But we're also trying to see whether we can really search for like minds. People who actually uh, have some form of motivation, some things that they think for some reason they want to do this, do you get, and actually give them the opportunity to do it, do you understand? So those, those kind of people would naturally stay till the end. I didn't like artificial intelligence as a course in the university, but I understood what I was being taught. But I started to draw comparisons and contrasts from what I learned in class and practical applications because we were actually talking a lot more practically in AI Saturday Lagos. And I realized that, okay, it's not exactly so bad. We just didn't see a bigger picture at the time. So I became a lot more invested. So seeing my own dilemma, I can understand the struggles of someone that is currently in school trying to make sense of why exactly is this thing important? Why am I doing it? So I felt if there's going to be a way for me to give back, and if it is going to be by this community to be able to train a lot more people to understand these things, then I'm all for it. Just to make sure that you, uh, you have something else challenging, that it's an hackathon, like why not? It's just fun to do hackathons and introduce you to say how you can now start like trying to do cargo. We need to start solving our own problems and we need to learn the skills that is needed to solve this problem. We had to choose a project called Black Friday Price Predictor. So in Black Friday Price Predictor, what the model does is it tries to predict how much you think this person can spend when we open a Black Friday market thing based on previously, like previous inputs you've seen before. So we had to check if the person is married or not, what city the person stays in, what age range the person belongs to, and all of that. If you go through, let's take the beginner's class now. They're going through intro to data science and machine learning. You take these two courses and say, you undergo one of the projects, one or two of the projects that you are meant to at the end of it. Believe me, you are not an expert just yet, but you are at least job ready. We're giving a side project in ESC Saturday, and in my group, like so it should be your website whereby you upload an image of a number, then the web page should be able to print out the number for you. Tell you, okay, this the number in the image is one or it is two. That project was the one that gave me the idea that I used for the prayer I gave to you that city, which was which I named Baby Note. And Baby Note was just basically a, a, a mobile app that to help children write naturally without their parents' permission. They want to write the number, but the model takes the image. It, it, okay, it sounds like a check mark with a teddy bear carrying it, telling the baby that he got the number right. My prince was mentioned. That's why fight was on number one. You know, it looks like nothing actually, but the thing is, it was an international competition. We had people who were doing that PhD on that scholarship. And luckily for me, I got the scholarship. And the scholarship, like, it was actually 300 people that was giving the scholarship, actually 10,000 people all over the world that applied for the scholarship challenge. So when it comes to the issue of why do you need to get guys involved, you need representation. You don't have a lot of black people in AI. You have Asians. You have white folks in in that space. We need to put a lot of stuff in place because the next phase of humanity, AI is going to play an huge role in that phase. And if you don't participate, if you don't show up, your people, whatever you stand for, might not be represented. And partly, nobody is going to solve our problem. If we have AI problem today, it is left for us to sit down and provide solution to it. A project that 
I worked on with my colleague. It's a machine translation system. So machine translation is basically a technology that is used to translate languages. MT system is, is an English to Pigeon machine translation system. So we noticed that on Google Translate, Google Translate, they don't have Pigeon. And I mean, Pigeon is, is like everywhere in Nigeria, even in Africa, like Pigeon is well spoken. And then Google Translate doesn't have Pigeon. So we worked on that. At the end of the first cohort, most of the guys that actually stayed till the end are doing like great stuff now. Most of them, they're doing great stuff, they're working for great companies. From what we have seen, we, the, this started in January 2018, over the space of three cohorts, at least 150 people have passed through. Quite a number of people have got jobs based off of what they have learned in this community. We have one of our students, I was just, um, I just heard that he got into the data science um, track um, for the for the digital explorer program that recently happened and then they'll be going to um, Lithuania to work for a year as data scientist. It was uh, it was one of our early students as well. The, the job I, I am currently um, doing, like being a machine learning engineer at Internet, it was as a result of career meeting me through AISS Lagos. And now I I lead the team here in Lagos, in Nigeria. Uh, the, the community has opened so much doors that I can possibly imagine. At some point, we bring in industry professionals. I mean, we have a lot of them that are mentoring the if you check our WhatsApp groups, we have many of them. Many of them are silent. They're just looking, but they chip in once or twice. But there's that mentorship that is going on. So we give you the technical tools and we give you guidance as well. I was called for internship by DeepQuest AI. I never applied. We see you and the CTO of DeepQuest AI do come to here Saturday just to give us moral support. He said they've been watching me for quite some time and they see the way I respond. So they said that's why they decided to reach out to me to come and start an internship of three months with them. All this wouldn't have been possible if I was never in AI six Saturday. People just feel it's just hype. AI yeah, Saturday, AI yeah, Saturday, AI yeah, Saturday. The truth is, the way AI is going, just know what is happening, and so you don't get left out. And the truth is, all this stuff you get to learn for free. Nobody is asking you for money. Like, just come meet people. Show up, know what you can do with this. Like, it's very important. Like, don't ignore it. AI is playing a huge role in your life. You are a data point in someone's database. So now it's left for our government, right, to invest in this talent such that they are, whatever they learned is being done, is being implemented in the country to make the country better. Because what we find out now is that people get smarter and then people outside the country just pick them up, right? Because there's no, there's no avenue for them to show what they know. But when it comes to long time, go i think the most important thing is for us to build talents that will stay in the country we should be able to create awareness after creating awareness get people to do this stuff teach them how to do this stuff then if they can do this stuff let them use this knowledge to solve problems sit down and think about indigenous solution to our problem we are already having love impact, um, impact as it is. We have um, over 10 AI communities in Nigeria. I know we have Abuja, we have in Ibadan, there's in Kwara. There's in yeah, so I think that um, with time we're going to even do better. I'm looking forward to having a community like Angela in Nigeria where we'll train people, get them jobs. At the moment, we have a lot of qualified people in AI Saturdays that can take up jobs. We are looking for opportunities, internships, jobs, anything that would come our way so that would do more, move from our learning phase towards um, practicalizing 
um, what you have learned so far? I want to be able to have AI Saturdays Africa. Um, I hope that uh, we can be able to have a model um, for learning and teaching um, artificial intelligence where everyone can say they want to start a community for machine learning in, and they are able to come and use the model we've, we've been experimenting with so far and then at the same time they can be able to extend it do you understand so other people can also learn and contribute to it and uh, i feel like masakhan like we build together basically i i think um we are, we're learning a lot. We're, we're learning a lot over time, and I think that's what matters at the end of the day. Being able to learn, try out new stuff, draw out conclusions, do another course, get better, and all that. I mean, just like any machine learning model would be, if like. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. See, AS is delivered. Uh, why are you telling me? I didn't even ask I thought of the yeah. camera. <laughs> <laughs> AS is delivered. Uh, thank you. <laughs>